Hello viewers, welcome to doctor's channel. Today Dr. Shailesh Garge is with us, vascular specialist. Hello doctor. Doctor, could you say, what is peripheral arterial disease? So peripheral arterial disease uh, is the, uh, the blockage of the blood vessels, especially of the lower le legs. So this can be, the blockage can be at the, at the groin level, the, the blockage can be at the thigh level or the, uh, or the knee or the below the knee levels. And uh, this blockage can be because of multiple reasons, but the most common cause is the, is the atherosclerosis, that is deposition of the cholesterol, calcium, all those things in the blood tubes, similar to how the, you, you will get the blockage in your heart vessels. The, similarly, you can get the blockage in the lower legs. And this can cause uh, the reduced blood supply to the legs, slowly the discoloration, you are not able to walk for a longer distance because of the reduced blood supply. So pain will be there and so, some patients get wound or even a minor injury won't heal later. So these are the symptoms because of the re reduced blood supply you will get into the uh, peripheral arterial disease. What could be the complications, doctor? So, peri so you can imagine so, anything which won't, blood supply is basically getting a nutrition in any part of the body. So once the blood supply has reduced, the, the, any part of the body will slowly try to uh, start drying. So these are the early symptoms like pain, uh, you are not able to walk for a longer distance, the skin becomes uh, dry, thick and uh, discoloration will be there and wound will start healing and slowly the co continuous pain that is called rest pain and, um, and slowly uh, the blackening or what we call it as a gangrene. We, these are the uh, things uh, will develop. Doctor, what is the treatment option for it? So the, the, the treatment options uh, are mainly uh, we have to increase the blood supply. So in the early stages, we give the blood thinners. These are the antiplatelets and to reduce the cholesterol levels. So these are the things we will re, uh, require. But before that, we'll check how severe the disease is. That is, uh, we'll do the Doppler test to see the blood flow in the lower leg, how severely it is affected and what is the extent of the blockage and what is the severity of the blockage. So these are, these are the useful information which will give, uh, this test will give us and then we'll categorize the, the, these patients into whether they are in the early grades or the, uh, the severe grades. So depending upon in the early grades, we always try to uh, give the medical management, change of lifestyle, quitting of the smoking if the patient is having all this high risk. And then controlling the diabetes and hypertension are the main reasons for the developing the blockage in the blood vessels. These are the options in the early stages of the disease. But in the later stage when the, the, the disease has progressed um, to a higher grade and the blockage is there. Um, so in those, uh, we have an option of open surgery, what we call it is a bypass. And the other thing is an endovascular treatment that is balloon angioplasty or the stenting if required. So these are the two options and um, bypass is the one we, we can do only for the major uh, blood pipes, blood tubes uh, and uh, endovascular we can do for the bo even the smaller pipes. So um, in the endovascular intervention, we'll get into the block vessel, we cross the block and we open up the si similar to the what we get do the angioplasty for the heart. So that way we, we are blow opening up the blocked vessel, we are increasing the blood flow and uh, patient will get much relief in the symptoms like pain, his pain will subside and he'll be able to walk for longer. And more important uh, is that the, uh, the part won't get uh, died, the gangrene won't set up and we are saving the limb from the getting cut or the amputated uh, leg. So these treatment options are available uh, which are very useful uh, and these in the recent years with the advance in the technology, with the uh, advance in the interventions, we are able to uh, treat the difficult and complex and uh, severe diseases. So which will save the, uh, the limb and uh, the, you can imagine the, the trauma, the social trauma patient can have once you lose your limb because of the disease which you could have saved at some point. Doctor, how can we prevent it? So I said the main reasons for the blockage of the vessels are the diabetes, hypertension, smoking and high cholesterol and sedentary lifestyle, obesity. They are multiple factors but these are the main what we see in the Indian population. So um, you have to strictly control your diabetes, hypertension with the medication. Uh, even you have to quit completely the smoking um, and ch reduce weight, obesity, regular exercises, yoga. These are the, uh, the things which will uh, help you to uh, prevent uh, development of the disease or you can even control the disease and even prevent the rapid progression of the disease to the severe grades. But at the same time, uh, but it's very important to find out what stage you are and start the uh, uh, treatment accordingly like maybe antiplatelets and uh, anti-cholesterol medications if you are if your blood levels are showing higher cholesterol and uh, those thanks for the explanation doctor thank you i hope you found this video useful so don't forget to like share subscribe to our channel for more info visit our channel thanks for watching